Mm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to the final turns of night from Mage Knight. This is night one. Now, uh, there was a little mistake at the end of the last round. Basically, I attacked a fortified site that had a wall. Okay, so down here. So it's got a wall and it's a castle, so it's double fortified. And I said that the walls were, I, I always play that walls were considered site fortification, but it turns out that that is actually a real rule, not just one of my rules, because if you look at the combat card here, it says in the combat section, when challenging, blah, 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 it says walls count as site fortifications. So that was correct. You can get rid of the fortifications using demolish, right? Except the thing is, we use demolish to do this. We use the artifact so we could play it from the offer. But I actually forgot to... <laughs> you, I used ranged attack to kill him, but I forgot to act... Well, I still took the wounds. So I've only got one wound in here. The other wound I discarded because I ended my turn on a glade. So I'm just going to get rid of this one as well. Now, if we look at glades, it says you can throw away one wound from your hand or your discard pile. So I'm just going to look through my discard pile and see if there's a wound in there. There is not. So that's that. So all that wound she's taken, she's got no wounds. She is the best character in the game, in my opinion. I just love her. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Let's get straight back into it. We are starting with the dwarf dude. Now, he is all the way down here. He is not going to attack this because it's like got a dragon, right? There's no way we can fight a dragon. Now, I'm not really sure I want to jump into there right now. We don't really have anything that we can do. But what I will do is I'll take a mana crystal and I'm going to discard improvisation and the block. Just end my turn. Blamo. Oh, beautiful. We got a heal. It is now the witch's turn. She is going to go to here. So she needs five movements. We're out of cards. This isn't really a problem. We'll just go boom, five move. And again, we don't need to do a mana search to do that. So we'll end our turn there. It is now the elf's turn. Okay, so he's got a lot of combat here. He does have wounds. Let's have a look at him. He's, he's on a dungeon. So this is actually, I think we're going to take this dungeon. We've got... A glade here we can move into the heal. We've got two heals here as well. So there's lots of healing all around us. And he has a lot of influence gain. So I think we're just going to do it. Let's do it. Uh, what, what kind of options we've got here? Okay. Not a bad da my data pool or whatever you call it. <laughs> okay. What have we got? Ooh, it is a horrible, horrible card. We can't block it. So this thing, counterattack, only works if you do successful blocks. So seven block means we take three wounds. One, two, three. So it's three, six, nine. Now, uh, now we need to produce six attack, which we should be able to do. This produces three, four, five, six. Okay, so he's dead. That's fine. Let's end the turn. You blammo. And he gets a conquest reward. So let's just uh, roll this. We get a artifact. Ooh, we've got a soul harvester. So attack three and for every enemy you gain crystals. Or we've got just automatic crystal generation with a sapphire ring. I'm going to take the soul harvester though. And we need a skill token now, don't we? Uh, I'm 
I'm going to take the heal. And we get an action. We're going to take the stout resolve. Bam. Ooh, that's the heal, the extra heal. Nice. Now, I don't think you can use skills the turn you get them. We have one, two, three, four, five cards here. So I'm going to discard this because we want to, we hopefully want to get a, we want to draw that uh, stat resolve card we just got. So basically, stat resolve. Um, sorry, I didn't read it before I chose it. It's just because I've, I know what stat resolve is. Basically, it allows you to do moves, but you can also discard cards to get extra points, and you can actually discard wounds. So it's a very handy card to have. So we're discarding that. It's going to force us to draw it. So rewards claimed. And hopefully that means we'll be able to next turn get into this glade. Okay. It is now the Wolf Hawk's turn. She is going to heal and gain a crystal to the inventory. Uh, this should be flipped. I don't know why that's not flipped. Now, where is she? We need three movement to get to here. So we'll just do this. That's four movements. And we'll do this and gain a red crystal to an inventory. That's three to move. And that's her. Bam. And we claim that that's that. Okay, so we're back to the dwarf. Now, he's got two to get in here. I'd like to take that before. Oh, wait, we've got Peaceful Moment. So let's do Peaceful Moment. Get rid of this guy. So we're going to produce three influence and we get one heal for that. Uh, yeah, we'll keep all of the. How many cards have we got left? We've got three deeds left. So I'm going to chuck out this. And that's going to give us all, all empty our deck. So. Oh, not chuck out. I'm just going to discard. I beg your pardon. Remember, we've got plus two attack here. Let's end that turn. Bam. Charm. Beautiful. And we've got to move so we can get in. Okay, that's good. Okay, it is the witch's turn once again. She is just going to call end of round. And we'll play till the end of the round. Nice. So now it's the elf's turn. Well, I don't know why that didn't get discarded. He's going to go bam, bam. That gives him three move. And then we can discard a wound to give him another two. So he moves into the glade for five. And we just end the turn there. And he gets to remove a wound. Wow, he has so many wounds in hand. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's Wolfhawk's turn. Now, Wolfhawk is versus this guy. Now, this guy is an interesting uh, mob. Basically, he's got two physical resistance and he's fortified. Seven attack, but he's got that little symbol. I think it's like encumbered or, you know, he's slow or something. I'm not quite sure. It's on like ogres and things. Yeah, cumbersome. So the way cumbersome works is that you can block with move. So every time you use a move point, because you're like dodging around while you're fighting them, it actually reduces the attack by one. And you can reduce it to zero, which the game considers a successful block. You know, you, there's a lot of effects that only trigger if you block successfully. So if you reduce cumbersome to zero, that actually works as a block. So let's check out what she's got. She has... Well, she's got Sword of Justice, so that gives her plenty of attack. We have four move, five, six, seven move, and that gives us three attack. So let's have a quick look. I think we can do this. So we're going to provoke this guy. There is a white. This gives us four move. This gives us another two, four, five, six move. 
and this gives us seven move. That, that's successfully blocked. What's this thing do? We have Staff of Concealment. Okay, so we've got a little magic staff from one of the mobs we killed. Now, this gives us two move. Your movement does not provoke rampaging enemies or enemies with ambush this turn. Also, any enemies pursuing you are not moved and do not attack you this turn. See, the thing is, we have two move. I think I can use this. So I'm going to go bam. It's just plus two move. It's just talking about how movement on the map works. But that's just creating move. So that actually gives me the full kill. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight move that we've created using the staff to dodge around and hide a little. We only need seven move to block this, so that's completely blocked. And then we're using Sword of Justice. That gives us plus three attack for each card discarded. Three, six. We only need two to kill, so he is dead. Now, the Justice will give us plus one fame. So this gives us four fame. So, Wolfhawk, one, two, three, four. So we should go to 24 if this works. Uh, okay, so let's go in turn. Oh, gain one extra fame. There we are. There's a button here for it. So we gain one extra fame. And in turn and level up. Yep, we've gotten the level up. And let's get our reward, your blammo. That was a good turn. Okay, it is now... The last round. I think this is the last turn, actually. Yeah, this is the last turn because she she quit her turn. That means Elf and Wolfhawk got one extra turn, and now it's this is the last turn of the game. So we need two to get in. There's two to get in. We do have Charm. We do have Possess. There is Black Mana. We have Mana Draw. And we've got, we've got white tokens. We've got a ice shard spell. And we've got three attacks, so that's five attack. You know what, I'm gonna do this, let's do it. So we're gonna spend two and jump in. Bam. Ooh, okay, so we can do this, I think. Basically, we got charm. We need a black die for that. So we have possess, right? One enemy does not attack in the attack phase. Gain attack equal to its attack, including elements, if any, but ignore special abilities. You can target only other enemies with that attack. So what this is saying is that we possess another a monster and use them to attack other monsters. But it can't attack itself. So even though it can't do any damage and the attack value is no use to us, it still stops him from attacking. So that is basically attack of zero. Now, it's not counted as blocked. It's just, you know, it doesn't attack us. So we don't have to worry about attack or the poison or taking wounds. All we need to do is produce five attack, which shouldn't be a problem because all we need to do is go three attack and pull a green mana. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we need to use, okay, sorry, bam, bam. So we're using concentration to create a white minor token, which powers this card. We can use one additional die from the source. Uh, take a minor die from the source and set it to any color. So we're gonna set the white, this to white. And that gives us two white tokens. And we put one here, and then we put one here, and that gives us three plus the hot swordsman, which is four, five. So to reclap, recap, to put it in order, we moved in with, to put it in order, let's just get this out of the way. To put it in order, we moved in with the one, okay? We then did concentration, that gives us a white token, which we then used to 
power mana draw and we gain two white tokens. We then used possess using a black die and the white token to stop him attacking. And then we did an attack for three, but we have a permanent plus two. So that's actually attack for five and five is all we need to kill him. So that was a pretty cool round. Nice, right on the last turn. End turn, yeah, blammo. And what, he didn't level up? Where is he on the level up thing? Oh, he's got a couple more to go. How come Athea's right down the bottom? I feel like she's been doing really well. She's got, she's only got two, she's only got two things. Maybe that's why she's got no wounds. <laughs> Okay, well, that's that. I'm not going to hit the rewards claim because that's going to trigger the end of round, you know, all the cards, and I want to, I'll want i save that for the next turn. But that's basically it. This guy has a real problem. He's got tons and tons of wounds. He is on a blade. So next turn, he'll be able to kill him and heal. Plus he has a heal here. So hopefully we'll draw a bunch of wounds in the opening hand and still be able to kill that guy. Anyway, that is that. I will see you guys.